had just made a video teaching you how to make paper. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to use the Inspiration Studio using your paper and you can use your JPEG photos whatever you want and you can cookie cut the shapes and as you can see here um, my niece, my niece, my granddaughter had sent me leaves from up north. I live in Florida. This was last year and I thought what am I going to do with all these leaves and so what I did is I took a page protector and I laid it on top of the bed of my scanner and then I layered all the leaves on top of that and I took um, I scanned them and so this is the page that I have from that so you can make your pages from the way I taught you before or you can do it this way you can scan things and, and do whatever you want and so I thought well I'll use this as an example and here's one of the things that I did with it. I actually took the leaf um, shape from the image gallery over here and I cookie cut the shape out. So now I'm going to do something similar um, as an example with my husband. Um, we had gone to the zoo and this was a picture of him. He was walking away from me. Oh, and one of the things I wanted to tell you too is if you bring your photos into the Inspiration Studio, depending on the quality of your camera, some cameras are better quality than others. And I happen to have a very nice one my husband had bought me for my birthday a few years ago. And the images come in huge. And so you just have to um, bring them down to size by either um, using the um, corners here or going and hitting um, the letter H and putting a size in that you want it to be and it will bring it down in proportion on your page the way that you want it. So I already did that and I'm going to go to the image gallery and for some reason it's been delaying I think because I've been doing so much work on here again. Um, I think I'm going to go to shapes and let's see I use hearts a lot because I love my husband and I'll put him in the shape of a heart so I have this heart and what I want to do is take away the color so I'm going to click um, on the left X here and so I have the outline you can see that and it's not to damage your photo. You'll see what I mean in a second here. I'll make sure I get that just right. I was able to do this in other programs. I had no idea that I could do it in the Inspiration Studio. I'm so surprised to find that out. Okay, so there's my husband. And I think I want to rotate this heart a little bit. Okay, so now I have him in the heart and I'm going to cookie cut him in the heart. Now I don't necessarily like the black. I'm going to try to find a color that matches um, the scenery better. So I'm going to use this mauve Maybe I'll use the gray. I'll try it and see if it's called silver. I'm going to right click on it and see you get the silver outline. And if I want I can thicken it. Ah, I can thicken it. <laughs> um, however you want to do it. I think I'll leave that like that. I'm not real crazy about that color. I'm going to try that mauve again. I'm going to right click on it. Eh, let me try the green. Yeah, I think I like the green better. I'll leave it like that. So now what I'm going to do is go to image and I'm going to go to crop and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says personal path. I'm going to click on that and I have to click on this image again include region and bitmap no and it takes a minute and then what I'm going to do is take this photograph that's in the background out of the way and you can see that I have this cookie cut shape of my husband and I just need to rotate I had was trying to get him evened out there oh you know what this is something I hadn't tried before I didn't realize that. Um, I'm hitting return button. I'm going to try it this way. Let's box the whole thing in. I didn't realize that those would separate, but they did. Because the image is so large, that's why that just happened. Um, and there is my shape. 
and I can do this as a print and cut if I want and if I was going to do that um, I would put a box around the image first okay and what I would do um, when I go to cut the project um, it's saying the image can't be sent to the cutter you must vectorize first but I don't want to do that I'm just going to hit continue and I don't have mine plugged in so that's why you're seeing that so if I was going to do this as a print and cut what I would do is first oh you know what I didn't change the color I have to go back I'm so sorry doing this to you I need to change this box and it doesn't look like it's solid either Okay, a solid line and I'm just going to change it to a different color so I'm going to right click on the aqua and now let's go back to the cut project hit continue yeah I'm not plugged in and I probably should have made that different color because of my, my the color of my mat that I'm using here. Um, I'm going to click on this. I would just cut out this rectangle first, leaving the mat on the machine. Um, you're going to remove the rectangle. That's that's all you're going to do. Just remove that rectangle. Okay, we're going to go back. Now, in the meantime, um, this, is, this is for people with wide format printers. I would have to get rid of this so that you can get this out of the way so that you can focus better. I have too many distractions going here. So on a wide format printer, um, what you would do is print this out and you would cut on this line, this aqua line. I'm going to thicken it just so you can see it better. Okay, so you would print this out and you would cut on that aqua line and then the piece that you had cut out or you had taken off of your mat you would take this piece here that you just cut out and place it into that empty space and then you'd be able to cut this out and what I would do if it were me to get a better cut um, I'm going oh I thought that was grouped I guess it's not trying to get just I don't want that I want just the inside of this heart here and what I want to do is thicken the lines and apparently I hit the picture and I didn't hit the outside um, one way I can do this is send this to the back there it is and it did thicken the lines you have to make sure that's on top and the reason that I would do that is in case you don't get a perfect cut at least you're going to get the green and you're not going to get your white paper okay so that's for a wide format printer so now what I'm going to do is hit my control A and I'm going to shrink this down so that you can see what you would do if you were working with a standard printer it's the same situation but I'm going to change this color so that you could see it better there okay so now what I would do with this same exact thing I would take this to my printer and I'm gonna put it on print preview okay so it's in there this is the way that it would look if you were on your standard printer once it was printed out and you get the paper and what I would do is take this blue part right here and you have to cut exactly on those lines so that you're going to have the heart still not cut out in this part here okay so I'm going to close this out that's your printed version that's what you would be taking to the page now I'm going to go to cut project oh I'm going to go to cut project yeah I know I know we're going to do that um, let me make this easier for you so now what I would do, like this is on your mat, this is your printed project, I mean this is your, this is, um, yeah, it's your printed project, this is your, your white paper. You're going to have a piece of cardstock on here. And all you're going to cut out of your cardstock is this blue piece right here with your printer, I mean with your cutter. You're just going to cut that part there out then you're going to remove that off of the mat when you're done. Oh, I get 
like this one here. Um, fall colors. Okay. Now your printed project is inside the heart already, so you don't need to worry about that part there. Um, once you take this part here off, then the printed piece that you had cut the, the rectangle out will fit in here exactly. And you have to fit it into that space without taking the mat out of the, um, the um, cutter. And then you're going to just cut the green part and that will be your image, you, the picture of my husband, and you'll have a perfect um, cut. And you'll have your this, you'll have just this part here. This part here will be gone, and this is all that you will have cut out on the mat. So I want to do a better lesson of this in the future, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how you can use um, the cookie cutter. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.